Good afternoon, my traders. Today, welcome to my second video. Today, I'll be teaching you guys how to break down a graph, how to analyze a graph, and how to tell when the stock is going the next day or the week after that or the month after that. So I always look at candlestick chart. You can never look at line chart. They be completely BS. And then uh, simple moving average. We can either do 10 days, 50 days, um, 200 days. I mean 20 days, 20 days too. 20 days are also useful. So what is simple moving average? It records the price of the stock at the closing and divided by that, divided by the time frame. So it gives you a moving average day by day. And then uh, now let's look at how to draw trend lines and identify the range of the trend lines. And then definitely know how to find the support and resistance of the trend you're looking at. And we can definitely talk about earnings that's coming up next week. Okay, let's get started. So I use the website called investing.com. It has a lot of tools and it's free. So let's talk about SPY, the spiders. What is it? It's the largest ETF for the SP500. SP500, Fortune 500 companies, has a lot of big tech companies in it. So I look at SPY for my daily trade. Um, I just, they just use SPY and gold future to break down the, the graphs. So click on chart and then um, expand it. Like I said, I don't like a line graph, so that's, don't look at line graph, candlestick. So when you look at this, which one do you do? Do you do monthly, daily, hourly, five minutes? It depends on what kind of trade you want to do. So if you do day, day trade, you buy today, sell five minutes later, sell 10 minutes later, I suggest you look at five minutes or one minute chart or 15 minutes. If you do a certain trade, buy today, sell tomorrow or sell next week, let's look, you can look at hourly or daily chart. So let's just break down this real quick. Let's pick a range. Let's do um, March of this year to October. So what's the SMA? You we look at indicators. Type in moving average. Let's do two. So if you look at the daily chart and as a bigger range, I will pick 200 days. So it's more accurate because 200 days average. And then the second one, I'll do 50 days and change the color a little bit. Let's make it, I don't know, um, uh, black. Can we see it from the chart? Yes, we can, great. Okay, so what does the um, SMA tells me or tells you? When we stay above the line, we tend to go above the line and stay above it. And if we drop below the line, what will happen? We stay below the line. And the SMA acts as a very strong support. One evidence right here. What do you see here? This is the 200 days moving average. The SPY is currently consolidated, trying to find its direction, whether you stay below it or stay above it. And it's trying to consolidate here at the 200 days moving average. It's a critical point of next week. Okay, and now let's look at the next on the list. We have the trend lines. So when you, do, when you do the trend lines, you have to see what kind of range I'm looking at, okay? So as a day trader, I do a week, the range. In this video, let's do from July to October, three months. So what kind of trend is this? Hmm, I see an uptrend. Do you not see uptrend? So uptrend right here. Uptrend right here. So this is the range I'm looking at, this range. But guess what, we enter a new area. And the new trend line right now is the downtrend. From the high of 293 to low of 270-ish, this is a new trend line I see. And we'll tend to be trading in this area quite some time, because that's the, the range of the trend line that you can tell. And then, uh, if you look at, we'll definitely can change to a different time frame, but right now we do one day, so trend is the same. We can break it down by looking at the, the area. If you do one hour, it's easy. 
What's the trend line? Oh, it's a downtrend line. So yeah, I can do a different time frame and you can tell, oh, the trend is going down and that range is going to be trading in this range for some time. I just remove that really quick and then go back to a daily chart. So trends. Next one, support and res resistance. So in support and resistance, resistance um, most of the time I look at a 15 minute chart, 10 minutes, because it shows you a clear sign of what the support and resistance that date is. But we can definitely look at the daily chart. What do you see in the daily chart? Um, let's see. What's the support? Well, you can't really see it because this is the whole thing just break down. So that is um, abnormal because you don't see a drastic, drastic drop. So the, the support and resistance right now, I can see at 270 ish mark. That's a support right here. And the resistance, as for now, 280. But that's just the short time period. I mean, SPY is not a very good example to look at support and resistance, but it's still the same. Everything's the same to me. Everything's the same. So um, when you see we break a resistance, what's going to happen to the stock? Keep going up. And then when we break down below support, we can going to tend to, to um, check the next support. Take a look at something else that shows you more, a bit of um, more accuracy. Let's take a look at Apple. And when you look at the support and the resistance, um, the most accurate time frame to look at, I would say hourly because it tells you the story. Five minutes, 15 minutes, one minute does not really tell you the story. Daily chart, it does, but who trades on daily charts? Let's look at hourly chart of Apple. Let's look at from October, 1st October to now. What do you see support for the whole month? Definitely right here, the bottom, right here. And resistance, the, up here. So funny thing about support and resistance, once you break the resistance, it tends to go up. And then when you bounce down to the support, it's gonna bounce back. So that's how you try and find the support and the resistance. And then we can make this um, to 10 days, from October 10th to 20th. What do you see support? Of course, right here. And the resistance, resistance right here. And then look at last week. What's the support? Right here. And the resistance up right here. And it's a trend. It's, it's just trading this range. And then uh, how do you benefit of this? If you, like me, do daily trading and you do options, so if you see like it touches the support right here and then it stays above it, what's gonna happen next? Go up a little bit more and more. So doing that range, you can make $10, $20 off the option and then uh, just keep going up and up and up. And then you see what happens right here. Almost close to resistance, right? What's gonna happen? Oh, we didn't break it, fall down. And then do we, are we keep falling? No, we're not. Comes back, test, 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 consolidate, and then boom, went down. Touch support again. And then touches, didn't break it, go back up and consolidate. And then um, this is the range for support and resistance sign. I mean, it's very simple. If you see a V shape, resistance. If you see a, a fail break to the top, I mean, sorry. If you see a V shape, support. And you see a fail break to the top, resistance. And then uh, intraday trading, that's how you look at. What's the next one? We talk about trend line, support is in SMA, great. Um, let me just do my very quick projection on the SP500 next week. Oh, I can move that. All right. So what, so based on what I noticed, every time we go up huge, we def, we, um, I don't say always, but often we come down 50% of the time. If we go down hard, we can probably come back up 50% of the time. So what are you seeing back in February? Oh, massive drop. And then we cover back up 50% of the time. 
and then come back down for half the time and then back up and then come back down again. So the same thing was here. Massive drop. What happened on Thursday or Tuesday? We covered back half the time. And then we failed uh, we failed at the support the resistance and now we just uh consolidate. So my next week I'll look I do believe we are going to retest this resistance at 280 and then break the 280 to cover the half of what we dropped and then boom comes back down. This is for my outlook on SPY next week and I'll definitely it's my opinion, but this is what I think is gonna happen. Why is that? Because um we have a lot of earnings coming out next week. You can see the the financials, the banks, they be their earnings. And then uh, Netflix be their earnings. So what's gonna happen? I do think some tech, big tech companies are gonna break, are gonna be their earnings. What do you see here? AMD next week, Amazon, Shopify, 3M, McDonald. Those are the big names, earnings coming up. And then we have uh, one airline, where that go? Um, or Capital One, another bank. Boeing, oh man, Wednesday, it's gonna be huge. This will give us the signal. Either we buy more or we sell more. But definitely not long term though. We're not gonna keep going up. Like I said, we're gonna retest it and come back down. So, let me know if you guys have any opinions on how I do my videos. I'm kind of sick, but this is what I I teach you guys today, um, SMA, 10 days, 20, 50, 20 days, depend, depending on what kind of range you're looking at. The trend lines, identify the trend and the range of your trading. And support, a V, support. You see it reach the top, resistance, it does not break. Once you break, goes up, support. Once you touch the bottom, keep going down. All right, I think that'll be it for today. And thank you guys for your time, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.